what is going on guys my name is fusions and today we're going to be opening up this new bakugan pyrus viperagon and aqua slugler geogun brawler pack so let's open it up guys all right guys so here we have this new geogun brawler pack in wave one we had four different uh packs like this one and this is from wave two and I'm pretty sure we're going to have four different ones like this as well. Uh, I only have this one at the moment, but if I find the other three, you guys know I'm going to be doing videos on them. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. But let's open up this uh, new one, this Diogan Brawler pack that we have now. This has uh, Pyrus Viperagon and Alco Slugler. Not only that, but we have some other Bakugan in here. And I'm very excited because um, we got some new Bakugan. We have the Arlus Fenica. We got the new uh ventus nilius and then a chaos spartilian so yeah some new bakugan and uh just it, it just looks very nice and then we have a lot of bakugan in here so yeah it's pretty exciting uh we got three character cards seven action cards um two of them are gonna be geogun cards because they they are like action cards and then we have three gay cards as well six baku cores so let's open this up and let's take everything out so here we have the two little bags that come in here. Let's open up this one first. Let's see what we have in here. All right. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the guide. Oh, and we have the cores, it looks like. All right. So here is the guide on how to play. We don't need that right now. We're going to leave the cores to the side. Let's open this uh, other bag. Let's see what's in here. There we go. So yeah, very exciting. All the new Bakugan are coming out. And this is uh, one of the newest uh, Geogun Brawler packs. So it's pretty cool. Uh, here's the list, the most updated list for Bakugan Geogun Rising. Uh, you guys can pause the video if you guys want to take a look at them, but that's pretty cool. Some new Bakugan and um, some new cores as well. Some ultras and cores. And I'm waiting on this one. This one looks really cool. So we'll see when we could get them. We got some. All right. We'll leave the other character cards. We'll leave it to the side and we'll take a look at the action cards now. So here are the action cards and the gate cards. We got Fusion Thunder Run. I don't remember having this one. So this might be a new card. Um, that's pretty cool. Six energy plus 1500B. All right, that's a pretty nice boost, but for a lot of energy, six energy. We have, oh, we got this one upside down. Aquos Bright Beams, one energy, uh, plus two attack and you get to draw. So that's pretty nice. We got Darkest Piercer, zero cost. Plus 100B, and you get to scan. So that one's actually pretty nice. And then the art looks really cool. I really like uh, the effect there. So very nice for a zero cost. Searing Ventusun, four energy, plus 12 attack. A lot of attack on this one, but it does cost four energy. Feather Fury, we got a lot of Talon uh, love. Six energy, minus 14 uh, attack, and you get to scan. So pretty nice, but again, six energy to use. And here we have the gate cards. We have this uh, Batrix number 26 in the gate card set. And um, I'm sure I have this one already. So pretty nice, but I have it. We got this Pegatrix with some Baku gear on. Pretty nice as well, number 28. And I do have this one already. And then we have this Batrix, number 27, and I think I don't have this one, so that's really good. Um, I finally got this one. I remember I didn't. I was missing that, that number 27, so I'm pretty sure I don't have this one, which is really good. Uh, like I said, I am collecting uh, all these gate cards, so that's really nice. Now let's take a look at the cores. Here we have the Baku cores. We got a Green Fist to start off. Fusion Bakugan to get plus five attack. Pretty nice. It's kind of weird seeing the fusion symbol on like Geogun Rising uh, products. Plus 100B, Aquas and Ventus get plus three attack for this green fist. Pretty cool. We got a flame fist, plus 150B and plus four attack. All right. We got another green fist. We got a plus 100B and Pyrus and Ventus get plus three attack. I'm pretty sure we, nope, it was pretty close to the other one. But instead of Aquas, we get Pyrus in this one little bit of variety we got pyrus and ventus get plus 400 b that's a good uh core right there very nice and then aquas and pyrus get plus 400 b another good core uh these regular shields that give plus 400 
they're really nice. They're probably the best shields uh, that you can use. So now let's look at the Bakugan. gun. Here we have Nilius. We got Fennica. Spartillion. We got Slugler. And now we have Viperagon. Oh no guys. So right away we have a problem. Look at this. Look what happened. Yep. It is broken. So I haven't even played with it. I haven't even done anything to the Bakugan, um, to the Geogun at all. And it's, it's broken. It just, it was broken. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's, let's move on. Let's, let's look at everything else. We're just going to have a broken, uh, Slugler in the back. All right. So let's just move on. So first of all, we're going to take a look at, Ooh, Ventus Nilius. Look at this right here. We got a uh, helix and a green. Wait up. Wait a minute. We didn't even get a helix in here. Wait, what? Okay. Um, that's a little weird because he carries a helix and a green fist. 100 B power and 5 attack. So 100 B power, the lowest. But if you do land on a helix, we get 900 B power. So that's really, really good. Uh, you land on a helix that's plus 600 B, you will get up to 1600 B. And then that helix also gives you minus three. So you will be at two attack. So that's really, really good. 1600 B power to attack for a Ventus Nilius. Another thing that I noticed is that this uh, Nilius core has three heads. And um, all the other Nilius before, the cores would have only two heads. So I think that's a design change, which is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. It makes it look a little bit uh, weird because it's not the ultra i'm used to the ultra having the three heads but um really really strong it looks like it's probably going to be the best ventus bakugan uh correct me if i'm wrong but let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one um we're going to put that in the back for now and here is the nilius all right so it looks uh pretty normal in the ball form the greens look pretty cool on uh on this i like the two greens but now let's uh roll it onto a core three two one bro and there we go we got the nilius look at it right there very very cool bakugan like i said we do have the three heads there we go and it looks huge it looks very very complex i'm liking it i'm really really liking the design we got the wings we got the three heads and we got uh the little legs in the front right here and it looks like the springs are very, very nice. They're very strong. I'm getting a lot of resistance, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's not that weak. Uh, it doesn't have a weak magnet either. It looked like it was pretty nice. Now, even though this guy is just a core, it does look very difficult to um, close, but I'm gonna show you. So first you put the leg up, then the head down, then the wing in. That way you can lock everything together on one side. And then you do the same thing to the other side, leg up, head down, and the wing in. Yep, like that. Then you put the middle head down to hold everything together in place like that. And then finish it off by putting the back side in. And that's it. For a core, this is uh, pretty difficult to close. And uh, it's very complex. Probably the one of the most complex Bakugan and Geogun Rising. That's a core. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Up next, we got... Ooh, we got RLS Fenica, and we got a shield and a flame fist, 700 B power, three attack. It does not seem too strong for an RLS. Um, so maybe it's going to have like some sort of Evo because by itself, I do not think anybody's going to use this RLS Bakugan at all. Um, it doesn't even have a magic shield or a helix to help it out. 700 is good, but for an RLS, it's not too great. That's all I can say about this uh, Bakugan. Here it is. I mean, we got the cool RLS colors, the gold that I really, really like of RLS. We got a little bit of silver as well in there. All right, let's open it up. Fenica is a very simple Bakugan. Every time I open it, it just looks very, very simple. And um, I don't know. I like the Bakugan, but it's too simple. Three, two, one, bro. There it is. Like I said, very, very simple Bakugan. Uh, compared to Nilius, this just this looks like a true core, and Nilius kind of looks like an ultra because it's just a lot more complex. 
so yeah this bakugan is uh very simple like i said it, i like the colors i like the gold but there's nothing really too great um it does have a little bit of gold in there a little bit of silver too like on the right there and then on the side but nothing too special to close this it's very simple you gotta open the little pouch the kangaroo pouch put the head in there uh, we put the legs up like that close these down and then finish it with the back very very simple to close as well that's fenica up next we got Ooh, here we go another new bakugan we got chaos spartillion uh double green fist 300 b power three attack you do have a reroll ability so if you do miss a roll with him um you get to reroll once which is pretty nice and then if you land on a green fist you get plus 700 b power so a little bit of support for green fist decks uh i don't really like them personally i just don't like uh, the green fist because they don't have that much boost um i think the one the green fist that has the most b power boost is like 150 so you would have to get this guy a green fist so you could get the 700 and then you will be at 1150 and i think it does give you three attacks so you will be at 1150 and six attack which is nice but it, the b power is not up there so it's not going to be able to win many battles i would say um but it's a nice bakugan i mean look at the art it looks really cool um, I like the art there, but here it is. Here's the new Bakugan Spartillion. You can already tell that these are like the discs things that it uses. Um, it looks like they're like the legs. Um, they look a little weird, but let's roll it onto a core and let's see how it looks. All right, three, two, one, bro. And there it is. Look at that. It actually looks really cool. Yeah, and it looks exactly how it looks in the art there like literally exactly they definitely nailed the design it even has the little arms on the side which is pretty cool yeah the design is amazing yeah i, I really like the design of it um the stats of it they don't look too great like i said because 1150 is not up there it's not that good but i really like the design of this bottle gun and i want to see more of it i want to see other factions um yeah pretty cool bakugan what do you guys think leave it down in the comments to close this bakugan it is very very simple you got to put the head down and then the arms in you got to hold that and then just uh put the discs things in and close it um yeah and that's it very very simple now we're gonna take a look at the geogons so the first one is slugler oh god so we're gonna talk about slugler a little bit um I'm actually disappointed because of, I mean, you guys already saw, but we'll see it right now. We got this Aqua Slugler, 4 energy, 1900 and 4 attack. Um, 1900 is pretty good, has no ability, which is uh, kind of sad. Lots of Geoguns have abilities, which can actually help it to be good. Um, but this one is just normal, I would say. 4 energy is a lot, I would say, for uh, 1900 only. So I'm not sure if this is going to be played, but what do you guys think? Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Four energy might be too much for this guy. Uh, we're going to put that back there and let's actually take a look at Slugler. He came in two pieces, sadly. Um, I don't even know how this broke. Like, what? It just came broken. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't really say anything about this one. I mean that's how it is closed that's all i can do i have to hold it he does look really weird i i don't really i don't know like these spikes look really weird i like it but i mean this this geogun is is cool because of the clear plastic and it's an aquas which i really like but it just sucks that i got a broken one yeah sadly and then for the second geogun we have this Pyrus Viperagon or Viperagon, five energy, 600, 1600 B power and five attack. And it does have an ability. If you win with this, you get plus seven energy. Now, the problem is that you do have to spend five energy to play this. 
and you will only be at 1600 we just saw the nilius could get up to 1600 with no energy spent you just have to land on a helix he will be at 1600 which is crazy now for this one you have to spend five energy to get to 1600 it does have a cool ability that you get seven energy back but spending five energy could potentially make you lose you might not have any more energy to to get the b power higher so that could be a problem but hmm We'll see. Maybe in the secrets of the Geogun set, there might be some cards to help um, Geoguns out, like to help them, uh, you know, play, being played. But we still don't have the set. We don't have any booster packs or we don't have the complete set. So we don't know yet, but I don't I don't see this being played. All right. Now let's take a look at the uh, Geogun itself. It looks really cool already. I hope this is not broken. Uh, I was very, very disappointed at that slugler okay, let's just move on we're looking at viperagon now so let's drop this and let's drop it onto this three two one there you go look at that very very cool geogon um i remember when i first saw this i thought it was amazing i thought it's really really cool so this is like a a dragon right but it has a tail of like a snake so it's like two in one and i think the design of it it's like one of the best geoguns uh i really really like the design it's just so cool and i like um how they did this one in particular all this is clear all the plastic um is is looks really really good i really like it to close this one um you gotta put this wrap it around put the head in there we go now you put this in here and then close the sides very very simple to close and uh, it looks really cool. I like it. It's a cool Geogun. Okay, guys, so that's it for this opening of this Geogun Brawler pack. In my opinion, the best Bakugan or Geogun in this Brawler pack is the Nilius. I mean, that's probably gonna be the best Ventus Bakugan, um, but the best looking one, I think it's the Viperagon. I really like that look. Uh, I like how they did the translucent and I just like the Geogun itself, so. Yeah, but let me know in the comments what you guys think, which one is your favorite, and which one do you think is going to be playable. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. I got a lot more Bakugan content coming up, so don't miss out. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.